What's going on everybody? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are all doing well out there. This is Regan and welcome back again to our channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys this new addition to our collection. Actually not new anymore because I've had this for almost, I think a month or two months already. So finally I'm going to unbox this one. And of course this is none other than Rumbo or John Rumbo 1-6 scale collectible figure by T0, right? So before we start, if you guys are new here first time or if you have extra time, please don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell as well if you want to get the latest update on our channel okay so without further ado let's get started first let's remove from the plastic I actually open this one um, just to check if there's any problem of course right there I would say that's a very nice art box a very movie masterpiece you can see the picture of John Rambo of course I think yeah this one is from the poster right of Rambo uh, movie part 3 and then some scene from the Rumbo film God would have mercy John Rumbo you know on the side his weapon bazooka and at the back the first was for himself the second for his country this time it's to save his friend okay yeah so very simple and with some uh, glossy uh, print on yeah, on that uh, title or yeah the name of Rambo and also you can open this one from the front so you can see right away what's inside the box there you go of course there's a lot of accessories underneath so we're gonna check that out your worst nightmare wow okay there. All, right, so all right so I changed my lens so you guys could see it closely okay so I'm gonna start off with this um, accessory right here I think this one is the yeah the case for his um, bow and arrows I think so right so it has a lot of weathering effects around here you can see there and uh, made of of course uh, pleather yeah and in the color something like a faded black and blue something like that yeah something like a faded black right so yeah I think yeah you can open this one from here yes there you go and then that's uh, where you're going to put the yeah I'm not sure if it's the bow and arrows or and then next up right here is his shoulder bag of course made of fabric material something like a nylon fabric material I think I, you can open that uh, wait let me try no you can't but uh, it looks like you can really open but I'm not sure so yeah I cannot really open this one but for sure you can uh, you know remove that right which is really cool and also some uh, parts here also yeah very nice this one is really nice it has a lot of weathering effects too color uh like light brown or khaki and then next up right here uh it has um uh, what's this extra five pieces of interchangeable hands uh right here i think holding the weapon gestures even this one too holding the gun right there and then this one just the uh, relax relax hands right there same here holding uh, looks like a knife or holding the bows and arrows and then this one right here holding the gun too or probably like his bazooka right yeah okay so it has five pieces extra interchangeable hands and then right here is the extra joints and which is a lot uh, wow nice i think this one is for the neck i'm not sure neck or um the ankle part yeah and of course this one in the uh hand uh, the wrist joint yeah and then right here is some um, hmm this one it looks like a detonator looks like a looks like a c4 right I'm not sure if, uh, if I'm uh, if I'm correct or not so something like a yeah, detonator or bomb right there nice this one right here is his watch Wow nice really cool that is amazing look at that guys nice Okay, and of course the figure on this first packaging, and the one on his feet. 
Alright, so this is the figure guys, already removed those plastics And I would say this figure is really nice I would say the details are fantastic And uh, the weathering effects are really nice too The texture of the skin are amazing So some weapons are already attached uh, to holsters or some uh, belts, to boots which is really nice so we don't need to attach that okay so now let's get the other accessories underneath right here so this one is the warranty warranty card but I uh, forgot to <laughs> register this one okay and of course the instruction manual right here okay right there so I'm gonna start off with this jacket right here. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so the jacket of course matches to his pants. Right there. It has a lot of weathering effects too. There you go. Nice. Of course made out of fabric material right there. So there's no lining inside. So just a very simple fabric material jacket right there. And then next up, I'm gonna get this one, his bazooka, right there. Wow, amazing, look at that. There you go, so it has a very nice details and paint up. And of course, the weathering effects, very nice. Right there, okay. And then of course the ammo right here, color green, so it has some small weathering effects there. Right, of course very nice paint job, very clean. And of course you can attach it here inside but you cannot lock. Yeah, I think that's it. Something like that, okay. And then some movable parts on this. Um, so yeah, I think that's the only uh, movable parts right here, okay? Let's move on. Yeah, right here is his machine gun. So you can see right there. Wow. With some grenade launcher right here. Very nice. Very nice paint job and of course the weathering effects. Very nice details. Nice, amazing. Of course, his bow right here. Very nice bow right here. Wow, look at that. This one looks really big. And of course, very nice paint job and uh, weathering effects right there. Right? And then some movable parts. Um, no. So only this one. Nice. So it has three strings attached right here. And then the arrows, of course. So it has um, how many? Five pieces arrows right there. Okay. And then with uh, two different um, arrow heads, which is this one. I think this is a bomb head. And then right here, just a normal arrows right there. Very nice. Paint job, very clean. Wow. I think yeah, this is where you're going to put the arrows. There you go. And you're going to put it inside. And there you go. I think so. Uh. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, but something like this. Of course, very old school. So he made a, I think this bag is for, for billiard. Uh, how do you call that? stick right something like that oh right here i forgot to yeah i forgot this one this is his tank top or something like a muscle shirt so i'm gonna put it here so yeah i think that's it guys so that's all the stuff that you can get from this uh, john rambo or rambo part 3 one six scale collectible figure by three zero so what we're going to do now is check the articulation and attach those accessories or, or weapons and let's try those hands okay so yeah let's get started all right so let's check the articulation so i'm gonna start with the head or the head sculpt um 
so of course you can rotate the 360 just be careful on the sharp part on the hair scalp right here to avoid some scratch on the body right because that one's very nice um, texture so be careful on that so yeah you can move the neck actually yeah you can move that uh, neck part right there side side front down look up right there okay and then for the arms there you go nice okay so above 90 degrees i would say and i would say that the body figure i mean like this material right here is very soft like made out of like rubber soft plastic see and it has a lot of space inside you can see uh, which is i mean okay i mean you know um i mean if you go into display you know they're not gonna notice that but then uh, at least they don't put some you know um hard like pads inside like probably like if they put that something you know if they put something like that then we might gonna you know, have a hard time to do some articulation right but at least this one is, i think this one's fine but i hope it's not gonna deform easily i mean like you know i think i mean it, i hope it will last longer let's say well it depends on the you know climate or temperature of your display so be careful that too so to avoid some you know uh like deformity on the body right i'm saying but i'm not really sure but i'm just saying like yeah maybe okay so for the arms yeah of course 360 you can do some 360 there see and uh squeeze the front just a little bit right there something like this which is really really cool yeah Yeah, it's just that sometimes it's hard to, you know, um, I mean, like, put back that position. I see something like a little bit weird on the neck now, so it's not aligned, but I think it should be okay. I'm just saying, you know, right? So, yeah, that's for the shoulder. And, of course, elbows right there. Wow, that is really cool. See, all the way there. Wow, and then other side, same thing, of course. Okay, and then of course, yeah, some soft uh, swivel on that wrist. Oops, oh, that's loose part. So, you guys can see that. That's a little bit loose. And then for the waist part, the waist part, when I check this one, is actually a bit loose. So, it's okay, but I'm not sure if, you know, it will last longer, you know, for some... If you're going to i mean like if it's going to hold some position or some poses right but yeah see uh here probably it has some you know articulation here or joints but i uh, think uh, mostly is on to that waist part right here yeah so not here not in the it's not in the upper torso it doesn't have it has but you know very very minimal or really no <laughs> really no articulations to that uh, um, with that way that upper torso but the waist part yeah it has but uh, I would say well of course um, well factory uh, I would say like quality you know not the really good you see so not a line you can see that uh, uh, it's just like spinal something like more space here than this part okay so I think yeah, of course it depends on uh, what you get. Uh, probably some of us experience that too. Um, maybe we have uh, some. I mean, some of the figures are okay, some are not. So yeah, so not really perfect, but I think it should be okay. You know, there you go. At least it has a nice details of his muscles, which is really really good. The skin tone, the texture, I really like it. Okay. So that's the joint so you can do 360 there actually you know um crunching so that's how it looks like very easy to do some you know poses on that waist part so anyway let's move on let's do that let's check that leg there you go 90 degrees of course right same other side yeah the pants is tight and uh, thick material but at least it's not that uh, at least a little bit loose 
so we could be able to do some uh, you know poses on the leg part same to the back oh i mean like that really open yeah tight material right here and of course the joint on the knees right there that's how it looks like and of course other side there you go okay so it has some it has some swivel right there you can swivel that legs same other side and the ankle part yeah it has joints but of course uh, very limited you can only swivel it it's side side very small yeah okay because of course it's a full boots full material boots right here so doesn't have much of articulation on the ankle part okay so yeah i think that's it guys for the articulation of this rumbo figure so now let's try to attach those accessories let's try to put this one oh what's good in here actually because it's, it's it's very soft you know once you remove i mean once you move those arms so it's not gonna get any um you know scratches because it's very smooth and soft so once you move the arms you can freely do some dynamic poses on this you know uh, figure because you know you're not gonna get some scratches on those uh, shoulder so very easy to move i would say right there so you don't need to remove the arms or the head and now so that's how it looks like that is so cool right very nice and one thing that i noticed guys uh, what, after putting this uh tank top somehow i got this uh hmm, scratch something like a scratch from right here see because earlier it's it doesn't have but then now it somehow removed the paint of this i'm not sure if it's because of the tank top right here because earlier yeah well probably like when i turned the uh, uh when you I, mean, I don't know like yeah i'm not really sure if it's because of this tank top or because uh if you somehow like it will scratch the paint if you keep moving the the arms right so i'm not really sure but i thought i'm somehow i'm confident like this one will not scratch the paint or you know neither the arms some, something like that but then uh see what happened is this this coloration i'm not sure if it's because of that uh yeah i mean like when you rotate the the arm so i'm not really sure about it so yeah i don't know if, uh, if it somehow like happens this to you guys so just comment down below okay so of course not good but i think yeah we can uh maybe i can i could try to put some paint okay but of course it's hard because it's one full arms you know that's uh, it's hard to match the color you know right so good thing it's just underneath i mean like not outside but then uh again just be careful on rotating the arms you know yeah just be careful with that okay so now let's try to uh put the jacket on um there you go there you go So that's how it looks like uh, with that jacket on right there okay amazing look at that so uh, now what we're going to put is this bag right here so yeah there you go so right here you can see that clip so you can easily remove that and then attach it easily here so you don't need to remove the head sculpt or the let's say the arms right so you're just gonna remove that which is really good yes because the other figures i give me like some of the hot toys figures 
you have to remove the head for you to be able to put that bag right at least this one you don't need to right which is a, a good idea of course and now next up is this one right here this bag of arrows yeah so it's not uh, it doesn't have any clips you know to put that but then actually you can remove those straps you know so you can remove those straps to attach it to the head but I think it's very easy just um, wait, let me show you guys so it's actually very easy just gonna lift the arms right there since it's loose I mean the strap is a little bit big so it's easy to shoot that from his um, arms to his head yeah something like this there you go right yeah very nice uh, next up is oh yeah I forgot to yeah his watch to his left of course left hand or left wrist there you go next up is this one right here is bow of course let's say and also aside from you know putting those arrows in the that duffel bag or something like that so to that case you can also put it here something uh, you're gonna put this one this end right here this part and then you're gonna attach it here there you go so you can only put um, four pieces I think so last but not the least is this one right here okay so something like this okay and here go so it's very easy wow amazing so yeah so you can see how it looks like so all of it are in his back right now yeah right there so at least we can uh, really you know you know really enjoy looking at those accessories of course rumble is prepared for battle so that's why it's better to put those old accessories Oh, this one right here, uh, probably going to put inside here. Yeah, so at least we don't lose those kind of accessories, right? These two right here, of course, this weapon. Right there, okay. Uh, for this bazooka, yeah, like this. And then for this machine gun right here, before we attach this one to the right arm or right hand, let me show you guys very quick those uh, movable parts so first up right here is this one this one the target scope something like that so you can lift that up right here and then this one you can open and close see that yeah this one okay and then this one right here the magazine yeah you can remove that and you can see what's underneath and uh, yeah it has a very nice uh, weathering effects of course details of that uh, bullet right which is very nice and then uh, and then which, uh, this one right here something like a safety lock right yeah something like that okay and then this one right here like the uh, arm uh, something like support yeah something like that or handle so you can bend that like this okay and then I think at yeah, this one this grenade launcher I think you can remove this one or slide that and then oops yeah there you go that's the grenade grenade bomb right there so right there so better to keep it inside so you won't lose it slide it back again and there you go okay so I think yeah I think that's it 
uh, those are the movable parts or some detachable parts right there for this machine gun amazing details guys right there I think, uh, I think we're gonna use this one probably this one or I think this one yeah so it's either of the two but I think this one is for that uh, bazooka or rocket launcher right there okay so something like this there you go so I'm gonna bend his arm like this right so at least I can uh, you know enjoy all his accessories on his body like that wow <laughs> that is really amazing guys look at that just to let you know guys that this figure doesn't come with any base so you should you know provide well it's easy to find a simple base and actually you can really stand the figure even without a base you know you can you could easily stand you know the figure so yeah and I just to show you guys very quick so his knife right here right and then so I'm gonna show you guys this one right here he's very cool jungle knife how do you call that yeah look at that wow whoa look at the details guys wow amazing right yeah and look at the handle right there nice so now we all attach the accessories to the figure yeah and yeah, you're ready to pose him to whatever you want, okay? Right, so I forgot to put the put the necklace on his neck right here. Because that's why that's why I'm wondering why I cannot find the necklace because I I forgot to get it from the packaging. So right here, so this is the necklace. There with some pendant and then there you go right so my overall review for this Rambo I would say it is absolutely stunning figure a definitely a must for every movie figure collector because I haven't seen any Rambo figure out there yet as good as this 3-0 product I mean it is really amazing it has a beautiful head sculpt amazing details and quality on the face sculpt I really like how they made that headband not detachable which is really good the hair sculpt is really good too the likeness is almost 100% accurate to the movie actor John Rambo or Sylvester Stallone well I grew up watching Rambo with my father when I was young you know watching it in a VHS and I really enjoyed it and that is why I like action movies and I become a fan of you know John Rambo too you know so that's why I really like the heads the, the head sculpt it's really really amazing and it's really accurate from the you know movie actor so I'm really happy that I didn't miss this figure because most of the time there are some figure that I always wanted to buy but ended up you know missing the pre-order day because sometimes busy from work while thinking to get it or not you know so at least even if it's late I still get a chance to buy it in a retail price because probably after the release of this and a few years later the price will mark up or somehow it will rise and you know not just only the figure but the head scalp again it is totally amazing while all the accessories and the weapons are fantastic you will not go into regret getting this figure you know but so i would say you know 30 did a great job on making this figure however there are still some parts or some flaws on the figure that sometimes it's hard to control you know factory problem or something like a quality control you know so there's no perfect figure and there's always a but so yeah but again overall the articulation the paint job the weathering effects, the details are absolutely fantastic. So overall, I'm happy with this figure and to be part of my collection, right? So yeah, I think that's it, guys. That's all I could say about this figure. And let me know your thoughts too on this one. And if you have any questions, just comment down below in the comment section. And if you like this video, please don't forget to press the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Okay, so thank you for watching, guys. Until then, see you in the next video. Peace. God bless.